Today's morning devotional. Ascended to heaven in human form. Ye yeah, men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Acts chapter 1 verse 11. While the disciples were still gazing upward, voices addressed them which sounded like richest music. They turned, and saw two angels in the form of men, who spoke to them, saying, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven, this same Jesus, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. These angels were of the company that had been waiting in a shining cloud to escort Jesus to his heavenly home. The most exalted of the angel throng, they were the two who had come to the tomb at Christ's resurrection, and they had been with him throughout his life on earth. With eager desire all heaven had waited for the end of his tarrying in a world marred by the curse of sin. The time had now come for the heavenly universe to receive their king. Christ had ascended to heaven in the form of humanity. The disciples had beheld the cloud receive him. The same Jesus who had walked and talked and prayed with them, who had broken bread with them, who had been with them in their boats on the lake, and who had that very day toiled with them up the ascent of Olivet the same Jesus had now gone to share his father's throne. And the angels had assured them that the very one whom they had seen go up into heaven would come again even as he had ascended. He will come, with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Well might the disciples rejoice in the hope of their Lord's return. When the disciples went back to Jerusalem, the people looked upon them with amazement. After the trial and crucifixion of Christ, it had been thought that they would appear downcast and ashamed. Their enemies expected to see upon their faces an expression of sorrow and defeat. Instead of this there was only gladness and triumph. Their faces were aglow with a happiness not born of earth. They did not mourn over disappointed hopes, but were full of praise and thanksgiving to God. With rejoicing they told the wonderful story of Christ's resurrection and his ascension to heaven, and their testimony was received by many. The disciples no longer had any distrust of the future. They knew that Jesus was in heaven, and that his sympathies were with them still. They knew that they had a friend at the throne of God, and they were eager to present their requests to the Father in the name of Jesus. They extended the hand of faith higher and higher, with the mighty argument, It is Christ that died, yea rather, that is risen again, who also makes intercession for us. Romans chapter 8 verse 34 and Pentecost brought them fullness of joy in the presence of the Comforter, even as Christ had promised.